All right, got a little video here on uh, tractor I'm selling, 1955 John Deere 60. Uh, this tractor is located uh, about 20 miles southeast of Scotts Bluff Gearing in western Nebraska. If you're thinking about coming in from uh, out of state, fairly easy access from Highway 71 uh, that runs, uh, well, depending on where you're coming in from but uh, south of Gearing there off to uh, the east. I uh, bought this in uh, 2006. I think it was about $2,300, $2,400. And uh, it's probably had about 75 hours of use, 100 hours maybe, just some chores. I uh, did some disking, did some mowing. Um, but a couple of years ago, picked up another John Deere. It's a little smaller, a little easier on the gas. I don't need quite this much power and don't have room for both of them, so uh, this one's going to go. Um, but I've added about $1,000 worth of improvements on it, especially uh, new rubber, um, brand new tires and uh, tubes that were just replaced, uh, oh gosh, 2009 I think. Well, it was probably 2010, um, but... Those are about as new as you can get. I haven't even rubbed some of the rubber off there because I got the other tractor and just really haven't used this one much. Um, but certainly in decent shape enough for someone wanting to do a restoration. I'll just kind of do a little walk around here so you can take a peek at the condition. A little dinged up there in the front grill. Front tires... Uh, were not replaced, but uh, in pretty decent shape. Haven't taken any punctures. Paint job's obviously a little bit uh, rough in spots. It never really mattered a whole lot to me. And there's the plate down there. Replaced a fair amount of the uh, electrical system, and that is an issue with this. Uh, it uh, has not started consistently for you know, probably about the last six months. I try to fire it up and run it every couple of months, and uh, I just can't get to uh, the catch. Starter works fine. I actually replaced the starter early on, but uh, someone that's a little more skilled uh, in working with and restoring these tractors probably have better luck than I will, or I did. Uh, it's got one of these uh, Balin, Belin add-on power steerings which has worked just fine no leakage there kind of a nice little aftermarket add-on got the standard three-point in the back I shouldn't say standard, I'm not exactly sure what was standard. I think the sales guy said that they did a little bit of custom add-on to this, but I've had a couple implements on it and worked just fine. Lots of nice adjustment options. Um, replaced the two uh, the hydraulic hoses there probably five, six years ago. It's got a two-year-old battery on it, fairly new. The instrument panel is non-functioning. I had to get in there to fiddle around with the uh, start, um, so none of those gauges work, and uh, if you were doing a restore job, you'd obviously need to uh, to do that. And the starting is accomplished um, by just a manual switch that I've been switching off uh, down to the side here. So, not an ideal arrangement, but for a chore tractor, uh, that worked uh, pretty well for me. got a battery heater in there. Worked out kind of nice to make the starting a little bit easier. Also uh, add on fluid heater that was with the, uh, the tractor as well. So I'll try to start her up here and 
probably have no luck, but uh, just to show you that you get a strong start out of it, just won't uh, won't catch. It's really close to catching most of the time, and as I said, up to about six months ago, it was just fine. So, who knows, maybe flooded in there. I've pulled the plugs and dried her out and filled it around with some other things, but since I've got the other tractor that doesn't require much of that, um, we'll give her a new home and find someone else that can get it running real nicely when it was uh, starting more consistently. Good solid performer and decent power. Overall nice, uh, nice tractor. Uh, it will come with a reproduction of the original uh, owner's manual, operator's manual. Gives you all the exciting details there as well as uh, two shop manuals, a uh, copy of the original there, and then one of the uh, INT guides. So that's not, uh, that's kind of a nice add-on as well. I also have a uh, rotary mower that actually came with the tractor. Um, I have another rotary mower I've been using, so I would probably throw that in as well, uh, depending on what the offer is. I've got another video that shows that. Uh, it's been banged around pretty well, but it's a John Deere 205 uh, Gyromore, I think that's how you pronounce it. And, um, you know, it doesn't look too pretty, but definitely uh, does a nice, nice rough cut in a rural area. So give it some thought, send me an offer, and uh, I got an email here that I'll post with the video where you can contact me if you'd like, answer any questions you've got, but just wanted to give everyone a look at the tractor, and uh, thanks for watching. Signing off.